Right guys, uh, so today's class is uh, to finish the invertebrates. Um, today we're going to see why are invertebrates so important. Although the first question should be, are the invertebrates important? Uh, the obvious answer is yes, okay? So we're just going to see a few things, okay? The first, uh, invertebrates are one of the most important food sources of the human being, okay? Um, from very traditional ways like the obtention of the honey okay of the bees or uh, eating shrimps or other um, uh, sea animals that are invertebrates okay that's very common in our culture or in other cultures it's very common as well to directly eat insects okay so uh, the invertebrates can be a very very important food source for lots of um, for the human beings as well uh, we can obtain raw materials from the uh, from the invertebrates, like for example the beeswax, okay, or as well uh, the pearls that we can obtain from the oysters. Or well, not only that, but as well the shells of lots of the uh, mollusks uh, that we can use uh, for different things, like for example to make uh, necklaces and stuff like that. Invertebrates are going to be as well one of the most important uh, group of animals that uh, are going to increase the biodiversity. Okay, now nowadays biodiversity is in danger thanks to the human being, um, and invertebrates are one of the most important uh, diverse groups, is including the ones that form the coral uh, reefs. Okay, that would be the polyps and um, and the nidarian. Okay. As well, um, some insects, or in this case some arthropods like the spiders, can be very important because they control population of insects, okay? Not only um, the insects that can be harmful for us, okay, but or that can, be, uh, that can cause harm to us, but uh, insects that can actually just uh, produce plagues. Uh, we use um, invertebrates as well in scientific research. This fly is called Drosophila melanogaster and is one of the most used uh, animals in scientific research. As you can see here, we usually collect them in tubes and, and reproduce them. They're very important for genetic uh, uh, investigations. And in the ecosystems, they participate as well in recycling of the organic matter. For example, here you've got some beetles that they make these balls of organic matter that then they uh, put underground and that it decomposes and plants can use it. Or the earthworms that are the most uh, important invertebrates in the uh, fertility of the soil. Okay, so usually if you've got... Um, a garden uh, it's very important to con to have lots of earthworms to recycle and to improve the soil so that your plants grow really well not all the invertebrates are going to be good obviously some of them are going to be bad like for example the ones that produce plagues or whenever any invertebrate produces a plague usually it's very dangerous because they finish with most of the um, resources of the environments um as well, we have um, some that, uh, that transmit diseases. If you remember when we studied the, um, the, um, uh, the previous unit, uh, we had uh, the Anopheles, which is a mosquito that transmits the malaria, or the Tsetse fly, which transmits, transmits the uh, sleeping disease. Okay, so these insects are gonna transmit diseases, so they're gonna be very dangerous. And to finish, we've got the termites, which uh, you all know that they eat the, um, the wood and they can damage structures that are made out of wood. So that's not very good either for the human being. So guys, uh, with this, I finished the unit of the invertebrates and next week, uh, or this week, uh, we're going to continue with the animal kingdom, but in this case with the vertebrates. Hope you've enjoyed this series of, of classes and hope I see you soon.